Okay, we're now going to talk a little bit about the basic chip shot. And really is a key, if you can get up and down and two just off the edge of the green from here, you can save yourself a whole bundle of shots. So, we're first, first going to talk about the different club options you can have. And I would strongly recommend if you have nothing, no obstacles in front of you, no humps or bumps, no bunks to go over, using something like a five, six, seven iron just off the green. And just trying to get the ball to land roughly 25% in front of you and then rolling the rest of the, the way up to the hole. Or you could very just as easily use something like a sand wedge or a lob wedge, playing exactly the same, albeit a slightly longer swing, carrying the ball further and obviously getting less roll up to the, up to the pin. Of course, when you've got an obstacle in front of you, you're going to use the, more the wedge to pop the ball up in the air a little bit. So, let's just go through the basic points here. So, I've got a 7 iron here. I'm going to, again, take a nice parallel stance. Again, you can stand open to the target, but again, you don't need to. I want to try and keep things as simple as we can. So we're going to have a parallel stance to the target. We're going to have a narrower stance. And again, we, we don't need a wide stance because we're not looking to make a big pivot. Balance is not such an issue here. So we can have a much narrower stance, approximately sort of six to eight inches apart in terms of the heels. We're going to play the ball in the center of the stance and we're going to favor the weight in the left side by approximately 60%, no more than that. And the key when we're playing the stroke is to keep wrist action to a minimum. Certainly the, the big fault I see with amateur golfers when they're playing chip shots, again, whatever club it is, whether it's a wedge or a 7-iron, they get very wristy and they start flicking. And invariably they get wristy because they're not just having a nice gentle turn of the body. We really just want to be a nice turn and a push. You really have to try and push the ball rather than hit at the ball. So I want to keep it dead simple. It's almost like a long put. There aren't many differences from that. So, here we go. Narrow stance. Weight favoring the left side slightly. Normal grip. And it's just going to be a nice short swing, trying to keep wrist action out of the shot as much as possible. I'm focusing really hard on the spot that I want to land my ball, just in front of me on the edge of the green. So here goes. And the ball runs up to the hole nicely. We can then play the same shot using the sand wedge in this case. So with the sand wedge for the same length of shot, I'm deciding I'm going to carry the ball on an extra sort of 12 feet onto the green and I'm just going to make a very slightly longer swing. So this time I'm coming up to sort of waist high and coming through to waist high. So again, it's all about the turn of the body through the shot. Here it goes. I take that. I've given myself a chance of making put on, on both occasions. Notice, certainly didn't hit the ball very high in the air there. It was just a very much a fairly flat trajectory, even with the sand wedge. We certainly, I wasn't trying to scoop the ball up in there. Hopefully that will help you play a basic chip shot off the side of the green. 